YouTube, YouTube for me has been acting a little bit weird recently. So this is actually a third part to my MCU um, TV spot, my Disney Plus, MCU, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki uh, breakdown or thoughts, whatever you want to call it. So we left off talking about how the majority of the people who watched the Super Bowl probably didn't know really that any of these Disney Plus MCU shows are happening. So I guess it's really just the big factor of telling the world that we're having these shows happening, that we're having this, we're having a WandaVision show, we're having a Loki show, we're having a Falcon and Winter Soldier show, just just kind of opening it to a more broader audience than just the people who are at Comic-Con and D23, you know? And so how? Be- what better to do it than show it at the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest national event of the year in the Super Bowl? Yeah, they don't have that much footage, done from the shows but the footage that they did did give which is nice subtle teases to what's to come in in august when falcon and the winter soldier hits sometime sometime in 2021 wandavision comes which by the way wandavision i'm mostly intrigued for wandavision i'm excited most excited and looking forward to wandavision because of the unknown mysterious factor of where what it's really about because we know it's about somewhat about you know, 60s sitcoms and stuff like that. But we don't really know what it's about, you know, how that affects Wanda and Vision. We know that it's somewhat supposed to tie into Doctor Strange Multiverse and Madness. All that stuff intrigues me on all those different aspects and levels. Um, Falcon and Soldier, again, I love both of those characters, and I would be excited to see how they kind of operate without Captain America. Because we, because we've always been, they've always been associated with Steve. H- how will they be on their own? And then of of course we got some nice clips of of um, uh, of um, uh, Mr. America, I think it was it was called. Um, yeah, I forgot. Um, Mr. America, whatever. It's it's a. Uh, it's basically, you know, a new Captain America after, obviously, what happened in Endgame. And I guess, you know, I'm assuming he's going to be somewhat of a villain, so I'm excited for that. Loki. Loki is an interesting one where I don't know if I'm that excited for it. Because Loki is one of those characters who dies. But that's a fake death. Dies, that's a fake death. Oh, and then Infinity Wars, in the first five minutes, he dies. But when he dies, I literally, sh- in, in in Infinity War, I show, I show no emotion for that death. Because I just knew that that wasn't his death. Like, come on, guys. We knew that wasn't his death. You know? Sure enough, they found another way to bring Loki back. I mean, I like Loki. But, like, how much of a character can we, how much of a character is Loki that we can relate to when it seems like he can't die? Because anything, any, when anybody tries to kill him, that ain't his end. That somehow the mystic Norse gods get him to come back. So hopefully he levels it up and, you know, I don't know. That'll be interesting too. So overall, I'm really excited. Stay tuned for videos coming right at you.